Why do I still make love to the city which sits on the other side of my window, waiting for the final eviction notice from its place in time and forgotten in Potter's Field, nameless in ruin? Why do we sit and shiver under the neon night? There are no prayers here. Those long distance meditations have come at too high of a price and there are no replacements for the telephone. You, they only deaden the sensation of being flushed out of your apartment and laying waste in the meaningless arcade of exile futures that are not futures but blank canvas and stripped of our names and language and place and art under the heart of the burning blue flame that brought the uh, final winter snow as pure and white as, an as ancient Rome and silent depravity. All for a stranger I never asked to meet. Do you know the supernova that has consumed the city's voice or the resentment of what's left behind, born of the Clorox tide which has wiped clean all memories of those who flung themselves out of their SRO windows to taste the uh, pavement if for only one last moment the source of their torment with, their, um, <clears throat> with the right tongue you can still sense them in each leaf, of gra each leaf of grass which covers the landfill of memory. The essence never really recedes. It is the ghost of ruin and the price of beauty that the body must pay in full. Even in suicide time, on some strange night during a rare blackout in the city, you can go into any of those rooms and still feel the moment when the rope tightened and the neck snapped and silence flowered and the great escape achieved. Thank you.